notion of our higher self can be a profound facet of our existence. It may seem unconventional, perhaps even implausible to believe in something that we have never directly experienced. But let's delve a little deeper into this. What if your higher self communicated with you through subtle signals? Imagine the possibilities that exist in exploring this concept. Think of your higher self as a presence that is almost within arm's reach, but often goes unnoticed as we navigate the complexities of our existence. It patiently awaits our recognition, while our innermost desires are its silent companions, guiding us to revelations that escape our physical senses. Consider the interconnectedness between physical, spiritual, and emotional dimensions that define our human experience. These three dimensions are intrinsically linked, influencing each other in open and subtle ways. Although we can choose to ignore this unity, it resides within us, shaping our reality. But what does our higher self want from us? I believe it yearns for our awareness of the world around us. It seeks to awaken our consciousness to the energies that permeate our environment. Because without this connection, how can we discern what is beneficial or harmful to our inner energy? So we have come together here today on this spiritual journey to delve into the mysteries of our higher self. Together, we will unravel the enigmatic signals that your higher self uses to capture your attention. So let's start with the first sign the world of vivid dreams. These dreams are not mere nocturnal wanderings of the mind. They are a deep channel of communication from a higher dimension. When the higher dimension seeks to transmit a message, a sign or a gentle warning, it does so through our dreams. So think of your dreams as a bridge between your earthly self and your higher self. In this connection, you may encounter events that transcend the boundaries of the past, present, and even the future. These dreams are a clear indicator that your higher self is striving to make a connection with you. For example, when your dreams reflect events that are currently happening in your life, they serve as a direct message from your soul, a call to nurture your passions and move forward. Now, let's move on to the second sign. A sign so subtle but so profound that it might have gone unnoticed until now. It's the phenomenon of mirroring yourself in the lives of others. Have you ever been talking to someone and found that your words and actions seem to be in sync with theirs, as if you shared the same opinion? Imagine a scenario where two friends are talking and the words of one friend echo those of the other. It's as if they were speaking from a shared consciousness. This, my dear friend, is the essence of mirroring and is the sign of higher self-communication. If you experience this phenomenon repeatedly while talking to other people, it could be a sign that your higher self is trying to transmit messages to you. To fully embrace and interpret these messages, it is essential to create moments of stillness. In these quiet moments, you will be able to deepen the connection with your soul allowing its wisdom to guide you on your spiritual journey. Now, the third sign, a sign that resides within all of us, intuition. Your intuition is a beacon of truth and guidance, a precious compass for your life's journey. One of its remarkable qualities is its ability to provide warnings before events unfold. For example, imagine an everyday scene. You're on your way to work on a busy morning. While waiting for the subway, you are faced with two options for getting to the office, the usual route and an alternative that seems shorter but less familiar. You hesitate for a moment, considering which route to take. At that moment, a subtle feeling of discomfort and intuition begins to manifest itself. Something inside you suggests that opting for the less familiar route seems the most sensible choice. You decide to trust this feeling, choosing the route you don't usually take. As you approach the office, you hear news of an unexpected incident that has occurred along your usual route, the one you take every day. A traffic accident has blocked the road, causing significant delays for those who have chosen it. Your intuition, by guiding you along this route, 
not only avoided setbacks and frustrations, but also contributed to a smooth and efficient start to your working day. This is a simple example of how intuition can guide us in making decisions that promote our well-being. It acts as a beacon of inner wisdom, leading us in the right direction to achieve our goals and avoid unnecessary obstacles. Our intuition serves as a messenger, predicting potential events or situations to come. It can offer guidance in resolving conflicts or dealing with issues from the past. But remember, even if your intuition leads you to an outcome that may not seem successful, it offers valuable insights and opportunities for growth. So, in our journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening, one of the wisest choices we can make is to listen to our intuition, for it is a trusted companion guiding us along a path of greater understanding and fulfillment. The fourth sign is a phenomenon that may seem disconcerting at first glance, but which carries deep spiritual significance, the sudden appearance of people in our lives. It's as if the universe orchestrates the arrival of these people just when we need assistance or guidance. These individuals are not mere chance encounters. They are sent to us with a specific purpose in mind. Their presence is woven into the web of synchronistic events that unfold around our lives. So instead of avoiding them or running away from them, consider the beauty of this cosmic design. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, detects moments when you need support. Your soul, intimately connected with you, discerns the most suitable individuals to help you on your journey. Isn't it inspiring to recognize how the universe orchestrates these encounters? It only reaffirms the deep connection between our soul and the cosmic forces at play. Now, the fifth sign, the realm of thoughts. Our thoughts are not just random reflections, but a channel through which our higher self communicates with us. The thoughts that pass through your mind shape the way you perceive and respond to the world around you. It's our higher self gently nudging us to think positively, encouraging us to recognize the significance and importance of the connections in our life. Our thoughts are influenced by our inner emotions and spiritual beliefs, creating a deep interplay of energies. In essence, our thoughts are a means of communication between our conscious mind and our higher self, which transcends the rational mind and is connected to our spiritual essence. Cultivating this connection involves practices such as meditation, self-knowledge, and mindfulness, allowing us to access the inner wisdom that guides our path on the spiritual journey and the search for our life purpose. Our thoughts allow us to reflect on our own lives, actions, and experiences. This process of self-analysis helps us to understand our deepest values, beliefs, and desires, which are important aspects of our higher self. Sometimes our thoughts take the form of intuitions and insights that cannot be explained purely by logic. These intuitions can be messages from our higher self, guiding us towards decisions and actions that are aligned with our true purpose and path. In this way, we develop a deep observation and understanding of our thoughts. By quieting the mind and connecting with the present, we can access a deeper inner space where our higher self resides. Our creative and inspiring thoughts come from a deep place in our being. And by following these inspirations, we may be honoring our higher self and contributing to our spiritual growth. When we learn to listen carefully to our thoughts, we can discern between the thoughts that arise from the egoic mind, such as worries, fears, doubts, and those that emanate from our higher self, such as intuitions, guidance, and unconditional love. This capacity for inner listening helps us to make decisions that are more aligned with our true self. The next sign is the separation from certain individuals in our lives. As we embark on our journey of growth and self-discovery, we may find that some people, while once part of our lives, now seem to be holding us back. Why is this happening, you may ask? The answer resides in the evolution of your higher self. 
Over time, as you commit to becoming a better version of yourself, you begin to attract more positive and enriching relationships into your life. This magnetic attraction towards positivity can lead to a gradual distancing from certain people. What's fascinating is that some of them may be undergoing a similar transformation, and this mutual separation can occur without animosity or ill will. You'll notice that you start to connect with people who think like you, people who encourage your personal growth and support your journey. But it's important to recognize that separation can be a challenging decision. It can awaken complex emotions and create a sense of inner turmoil. However, in these moments, it is essential to keep an open mind and trust in the guidance of your higher self, which is leading you towards a path of greater fulfillment and alignment. The sixth sign is the intensity of our emotions. If you often find yourself immersed in strong, deep emotions, this may well be a sign that your higher self is trying to communicate with you. As you strive to connect with your higher self, this can evoke a spectrum of emotions, both positive and challenging. These emotions can manifest as powerful waves in your consciousness. They can include feelings of sadness, joy, or even moments of introspective contemplation bordering on depression. When a connection is established between your higher self and your emotional state, your feelings can quickly intensify. In these moments of emotional intensity, it's important to recognize them as valuable indicators of your inner transformation, generating an even deeper connection between your higher self and your emotional world. In this way, we encounter the next sign, finding solace in your personal space. Have you noticed a growing desire to spend more time alone, as if you needed to organize your thoughts and emotions? It may seem that you are moving away from certain social interactions and activities that you once enjoyed. But this seemingly unusual desire to isolate yourself is actually a subtle call from our higher self. Our higher self, in its search to connect with us, may be gently asking for more solitude. During this period, you may become less involved with the outside world and more involved with your inner realm. Although isolation can sometimes feel disconcerting, it offers a unique opportunity to reconnect with the spiritual dimensions of our existence. The more we embrace this solitude, more quickly the connection with our higher self will manifest. Now, let's move on to the penultimate sign, the regular practice of meditation. Have you felt a growing inclination to meditate, to set aside time for silent introspection? Meditation serves as a bridge between the physical and the spiritual, allowing us to temporarily disconnect from the material world and bring our spiritual self into focus. This inclination may well mean that your higher self is trying to communicate with you. I say that because I've also felt this inclination to meditate. It's as if I feel I need to dedicate more time to this practice. It's difficult to explain with words alone, but it's something that comes from within me, calling me to take more time for myself, for the present and for my own essence. That's why I'm currently dedicating myself even more to meditation, because it's a practice that calms me and makes me more present. It's as if I'm totally complete when I do it. Meditation also plays a vital role in eliminating unnecessary baggage and relationships that no longer serve our spiritual growth. It provides a gateway to higher realms where we can find solace from depression, anxiety, and stress. By connecting with these higher dimensions, you can gain valuable insights and improve your ability to handle life's challenges. The final sign, but no less important, is an amazing sense of inspiration and enthusiasm about our lives. Have you noticed significant changes happening in your life lately? These transformative changes are a direct result of your connection with your higher self. As this connection deepens, we become more creative, focused on our goals and committed to self-improvement. This intensified connection promotes an open mind and courage to face the challenges that come our way. Eventually, you may find yourself venturing into new horizons, 
Whether it's starting a business, building a house, entering into new relationships, or embracing bold entrepreneurial risks. Intriguing, isn't it? The awakening of your higher self has the potential to trigger a profound transformation in your life, enabling you to explore unknown territories and experience the world with a renewed vigor and purpose. These are just a few signs that may represent the call of our higher self. Of course, there may be even more signs as this is a very deep and dense theme, and it can be interpreted in various ways. But I would like you to reflect on these signs and how they can influence your connection with your higher self. So practice more moments of reflection and introspection because these moments are unique and special and only strengthen your connection with your higher self.